the FAO's e-learning series, especially on forest monitoring and climate actions, has really opened my eyes on matters of forest conservation. Previously, we never used to use data, forest data, and do uh, after plantation monitoring to uh, to understand or rather to monitor the progress of our conservation efforts. Now I understand the need for data collection, the need to do to carry out monitoring for um, to ensure that um, our conservation efforts uh, we see the progress of our conservation efforts. Addition to this, um, especially in the recent uh, conservation uh, project that you are doing in Ramogi Forest. We managed to use SEPAL platform to carry out uh, land cover classification and understand the uh, land use pattern and land cover change patterns of the forest and also identify hotspot areas. In addition to this, we've learned the need for involving the community and, com and local knowledge in forest uh, monitoring. So involve the local community in understanding the diversity of the forest, understanding its importance, economic importance to the community, and also understanding the ecological on, based on community's perspective. This gives us the, um, the inventory or rather forest uh, data that we needed to ensure our classification, uh, our conservation efforts are in place. So um, I, I would say that the course was really helpful and now we are able to document our progress and in future we're planning to carry out monitoring uh, as we continue with the initiatives of planting trees. We'll be able to monitor the tree growth, we'll be able to monitor the impacts on climate change and we'll also be able to monitor on the uh, economic impact it has on the community. And we believe that uh, with this uh, uh, data, we are able to contribute to the National Forest Monitoring System and replicate the same in other uh, areas. Thank you.